Dustin McLean, Claire Max, and Benjamin Martin. Experts in the world of cosplay and DIY. Masters of duct tape, cardboard, and hot glue. Together, they are the DIY Costume Squad. Hey, what's up? I'm Dustin, and I'm going to show you how to make Poe Dameron's X-Wing fighter pilot outfit from Star Wars The Force Awakens. Now, this is not going to be 100% movie accurate, but it's something that you can make at home using everyday materials and stuff you can find at the store without spending a lot of money. So here we go. All right, so basically the outfit is a flight suit, which you can buy online, but I'm gonna use just like a jacket and pants and spray paint them. It's kind of a reddish, orangish. Then he's got this white vest that I think I'll use like a life vest for. Got some tubes and some belts. We'll just paint those. And then the helmet, which we can just paint and draw the designs on. So I went to the thrift store and I found this pretty good jacket. This is not the right color yet, but um, it has all the right shapes, I think. It has like kind of a button at the top this flap that goes over, and this cost me $9. And then I found these cargo pants. What I like about these is that they've got lots of pockets and flaps and things, and these cost $4, and we will paint those. All right, so I got a few different colors because I'm not sure which one's gonna work yet, so we might have to experiment a little. Spray paint is usually around $4 a can. Okay, gonna let it dry and then we'll flip it. So these pants, since they're lighter fabric, I'm gonna go with the darker spray paint and I hope that that will end up matching the jacket, we'll see. Okay, those are fairly close, so uh, let's head back inside. The next main thing in this outfit is the white vest. And it's kinda, it sits up high on his chest a little bit, so I was thinking that like a child's life preserver might be good. So this is like adult, small. This one was a little expensive, but I found a youth size online for like 18 bucks, and so I'd say go with that. So I think I will take the straps off and paint it white, and then try to make it a little bit smaller so it kinda sits up higher, and then we'll go from there. All right, so to make this a little smaller, I'm gonna just snip the tops of these and just tape them together tighter, just so it's like a little smaller, it sits up higher. Costume squad, please send Ben over for extra help. I'm here, Dustin. <laughs> what do you have with Excellent. <laughs> I'm gonna hold this really tight. Can you just clip it? Okay, perfect. Thank you. I will summon you again later. <laughs> he just hangs out in my attic. There, <laughs> now it's child size. I'm gonna tighten up these sides a little bit right here. Just, it's a little too baggy still. All right, there we go. Sufficiently small. So I'm gonna just go ahead and paint this white. Uh, then I'll figure out the little buttons in the box and everything uh, in the middle. All right, so I'm using white primer and this costs four bucks. All right, so he's got a lot of belts and straps and things. So I picked up a handful of belts. Each of these belts at the thrift store was $3 and then this random bag was $4, but it's like the exact shape of the bag that he has, which is awesome. I also pulled a bunch of straps and things off of the life vest before I painted it. I can use all of these. All right, so I'm just gonna spray these with gray primer. This cost around $4. All right, so while those belts are drying, I'm gonna make the little box um, panel thing that sits kind of in the middle of the vest. So I found a box um, that I hadn't thrown away yet because <laughs> I never throw boxes away and it's just about the right shape. So I'm just gonna modify this a little bit. This box that I had was a little bit on the long side so I just folded the bottom down just to make it a little shorter. All right, so he's got this tube that hangs down and I have an old vacuum cleaner tube. This is from an old vacuum cleaner that I threw away. So I kept the tube because it's uh, really cool looking. I mean, you could probably look at a thrift store for something like this. So I'm gonna just attach this right to the bottom of the box. All right, so I'm gonna draw on all the details and buttons and stuff, but first I'm gonna paint the rest of this white. All right, so now that the paint is dry, I'm just gonna draw on all the details and make some little colorful buttons and things to glue on there. All 
All right, so the box is complete. I'm gonna figure out a way to attach it inside the vest, but I also need to make sure I can still open and close the vest too. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna fold these down so that they can attach underneath so that the box still kind of pops out. All right, so tomorrow I'm gonna finish figuring out how to attach that to the vest and we'll decorate all of this and then we'll go from there. All right, so I'm gonna glue this inside. I decided to go with Velcro instead of a clip or anything. Um, I already had this pack, but uh, you can pick these up for a couple bucks. I'm gonna glue that onto one side of this and then we'll just lock the other side down permanently. That way we can open and close it. Now I'm gonna just decorate the top of this. So I'm gonna start with the Rebel Alliance logo right here. I'm just gonna freehand it, but I'll start with something round so I can trace a circle. I hope I didn't just write something very offensive in Star Wars language. So I've decided instead of drawing a lot of these lines on here, I'm just gonna make little panels out of some white cardboard. I think that'll look a little bit better. So I painted this little bag white. It's like the perfect shape. So I'm just gonna attach that right to the side. All right, just to make sure this is really, really sturdy, I'm using some steel wire. I'm just wiring it through so I can just attach it really tight. All right, cool. Pose lunch bag, attached. All right, so the straps and belts and things. Now, he's got these little things. I don't know what they are, but they look like Sharpies to me. I'm gonna take these old Sharpies and I'm gonna paint them silver. So I already had this left over. It's a metallic paint, but new it's $4. All right, so those are looking good. Now I'm going to attach them to one of these belts. All right, so this one is gonna be our main belt. He's got straps that just kind of hang down. All right, so let's see how these look on the pants. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is the latest fashion. That's why, that's what we, the straps are for. The pants are so baggy, you gotta have straps. All right, and there's these bad boys. Yeah, all right. All right, and then I had an old pair of black boots. You can just wear any black shoes really, but black boots seem to finish it off. I feel like I'm half ready to get into an X-Wing exactly half. All right, so I'm just gonna make a very simple holster out of some cardboard, and that's the last piece I need to attach. All right, so cardboard bends pretty easily. As long as you're going with the perforation, which is the little folds that you see on the inside, you can bend it along the edge of a table or something like this. All right, so now I'm just going to paint this black and then I'll attach it to the belt. So I'm just using a flat black paint. You can actually get these for 99 cents. All right, cool. So that's gonna just hook right on the belt. Ready for your sweet blaster of some sort. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna make is the helmet. And I'm gonna start with just a baseball helmet I got at a thrift store. This was only $3. So I'm gonna just take this stuff apart and then I am gonna use the rotary tool to uh, remove the top portion, make it nice and smooth. So, just need to file this down and uh, smooth it out, get some of these chunks off. This helmet that I bought does have some holes in it, which I think I'm just gonna cover up with some duct tape, and then I'll spray paint the whole thing. 
Okay, painted entirely black. So instead of trying to do any red paint, I've decided to use this red duct tape, which you can get for a couple bucks. Uh, I'm gonna cut some shapes out and see if I can put some of these stripes and things on. Shapes. All right, so I'm gonna make the Rebel Alliance logo out of some tape. So I'm gonna cut out the circle first and then apply it and then uh, draw on the details. There you go. This costume squad gig doesn't work out. I'm just gonna sell these online for a dollar a piece. All right, I'm gonna use a white paint pen to draw on some of these white details. All right, so I'm gonna draw the Rebel Alliance logo right on the front here using a red marker. Just gonna kind of freehand it. All right, one last finishing touch. It's this little uh, microphone, sticks out the side. So I'm gonna look in my junk box and probably find something that'll work. Here we go. Anything that looks too cool to throw away, I keep in here. I think I'm gonna put that on there. Yeah. Okay, there we go. The final thing that I need to insert in here is the goggles. Now you can buy these online. They're safety goggles, they're orange safety goggles, and they're seven bucks a piece. So you don't even have to really glue these in here. You can kind of just tape them in. Um, or you could just put them on, then put the helmet on, but we'll attach them in here with some tape. So this is not actually the first time I've made a Rebel pilot helmet. I've made three of them from the original trilogy, including Luke Skywalker. So this is just a nice addition to my collection. All right, time to try it all on. Jedi pants complete. Yeah. Tight squeeze in here. Velcro time. Velcro complete. Okay. That's it. I definitely look like uh, I need to go on a Jed diet, if you know what I mean. All right, well, costume is complete. Time to show the squad. All right, are you ready to check out Dustin's Poe Dameron suit? I am so ready, I cannot wait. And I think I see him now. Oh, here he comes. Here I am. <laughs> here we go. Wow. Yep. Wow. All completed. This looks awesome. Thank you. I did end up taking the lining out of the jacket, which was driving me crazy. It was really poofy. So you did that on the way here? Yeah, while I was um, in the X-Wing. Yeah, okay. Just... Are these spray painted Sharpie? <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, let's That's... see if I can get this guy off. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Start pushing my buttons. <laughs> so how much did this cost you? So the materials all together ended up costing around $50. Um, I already had a lot of spray paint, as you know, but if I had bought all of that, it would have been like an extra 15. Uh, all right, well, be sure and let us know in the comments what other costumes you want to see us try and make, and we'll be taking your suggestions. And stay tuned next week for Claire's episode, What You Making? Lulu Dallas from The Fifth Element. Awesome, I can't wait for that. It's going to be rad. Be sure and subscribe for more awesome videos, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, what do you say? Uh, costume squad, squad away. away. Go, exit. Yay. Yay. Oh, I know. No, we'll do the jump. We'll do the jump. Oh, yeah. Ready? Okay. On three. One, two, two three. three. <laughs>